Manas National Park is a heaven for Asian elephants. Manas is home to about 1000 wild elephants. For hundreds of years, men have been fascinated by these animals. Some civilizations worshipped them as god, while some others saw them as symbol of fertility, well-being and prosperity. It's difficult to believe that these massive creatures find anything threatening, but they are on the risk of extinction. Trunk-bearing animals or proboscis have had a diverse evolutionary history. They originated in North Africa 55 million years ago and have since moved to practically every continent excluding Antarctica. Australia as well as certain marine islands. Asian elephants are now found only in 13 countries of Asia with the largest population in the wild being from India. One of my long-term interests was to travel into the forest and explore wild elephants. I had the opportunity to visit Manas National Park with some young researchers and closely observe the wildlife. We began our research in the Manas National Park's Latajar camp. The forest officials explain the different do's and don'ts in the National Park region before we travel inside the jungle. I was the only researcher who started gathering information about the elephants and documenting them with a small device out of all the researchers who came here for seasonal bird census. Forest officials divided us into small groups and sent us to different camps inside the Manas National Park. And during our journey towards the camp, for the first time I was fascinated and mesmerized by the beauty of this Asian elephant, yet the power of the second largest land mammal in the world. Ever wondered what it could be like up close and personal with an elephant so large yet so thoughtful, a true adventure surely waits for us. Finally, just before arriving at my camp, I was fortunate enough to witness a herd of elephants numbering more than 10 elephants crossing the route. After that, our team arrived at the camp. The name of the camp was Buraburi Camp.
The two forest girls at the camp were extremely knowledgeable about the wildlife on Manas and I learned a lot about elephants from them. They told that they could easily bring elephant close to our camp if I want to see them closely. Then in the evening they poured some salt on the ground and a herd of elephant were witnessed because elephants have a keen sense of smell and can find any food sources from a distance up to 20 kilometers. The nostrils are placed at the tip of the trunk and are responsible for smelling. The trunks of elephants are constantly moving back and forth detecting new scents and information. The chemical information is then sent onto the Jacobson's organ, a chemical sensing unit located in the roof of the mouth. A herd is made of all the mother elephants and their babies. There might be 6 to 12 members in a family. Female elephants stay in the herd forever, but male elephants leave the herd between the ages of 7 to 12. They live alone or in a small herds of male. Here this herd consists of 6 elephants. Two of them are very adorable infants. The elephant morphology is notable for its trunk, which is a highly sophisticated and sensible organ with no bones that is manipulated by one lakh muscle units. The Asian elephant has a single finger like projection on the tip of its trunk tusks are seen in both sexes of the African elephant female Asian elephants do not possess tusks but they have a very short incisor teeth just protruding beyond their lips they are known as the Tashas some male Asian elephants also do not have tusks and are called Magnus elephants. The eyes are small in comparison to the body size and they are framed by thick and long eyelashes. Their range of vision is moderate. Elephants move through forests, savannas and grasslands, orienting themselves primarily with their trunks rather than their eyes. For example, elephant herds have been known to be commanded by a blind member. The blind member's capacity to fulfill its leadership function is not hampered. The ears are large, though not as large as those of an African elephant. The size of the ear is proportional to the amount of time spent in the sun. With age, ears droop and tear at the sides. Elephants have a thicker skin than humans. The thickness of the skin on the inside of the ear can range from 2.5 cm to 2 mm. The skin is a sensitive organ and as it ages it develops thick white markings. This isn't present in the African variant. Asian elephants are found in almost all vegetation types. Their habitats also include areas from pond forests to tropical rainforests. Although highly adaptable to most habitats, Indian elephants are not found in deserts and saltwater mangroves. They prefer areas that combine grass, low woody plants and forests. The home range where they spend most of their life 
and find sustenance is large because of their high requirement for food and water they constantly move within this range. In Manas National Park, several captive elephants are being trained for elephant riding. Elephants have been a part of Indian culture since the dawn of the humanity. They were utilized in ancient battle when there were no destructive weapons and in logging when there was no modern technology. However, because technology has advanced so rapidly, these elephants in captive are no longer useful. Furthermore, there is sufficient scientific data to demonstrate that elephants are extremely intelligent, social and novel animal deserving of respect and attention. Their elephants are cleaned at least once a week in various small streams inside the manas. They frequently lie down or stretch out so that their keepers can clean them down and brush their backs. Asian elephants today are more endangered than the African elephants. There were at least 2 lakh Asian elephants at the close of the 19th century. But today their numbers in the wild may be just about 50,000 as against 6 lakh African elephants. Ivory has been a major cause in the decline of the elephant population. Though India has banned all the domestic trade in ivory from Asian elephants. And also now, Asian elephants are put in Appendix 1 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. Asian elephants are a keystone species and they are regarded as gardeners of the planet. Clearly elephants are necessary for the survival of forest ecosystems and indeed many creatures. Too many elephants are getting killed in conflicts with humans. We simply cannot allow them to disappear from the face of this earth. There are less than 40,000 Asian elephants in this world, fully 60% of them, that is 27,000 plus wander in the jungles of India. The problem is 80% of their habitat have been occupied by human population. In other words, human and elephant share 80% of the landmass in India. Ongoing awareness and education is very important to change the mindset and attitude of the people. This should be followed by the creation of rescue centers to rehabilitate captive elephants. Our ultimate goal should be to relocate the ones that recover into the wild which will help address the risk of a shrinking gene pool. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe my channel.